Hello, uh, this is The Dirty Deal, and I figured that I would come to you today with a, a new redstone idea. Uh, this has probably been made before, but I haven't been able to find it on YouTube, so yeah, we're going to make this thing behind me, and uh, I'll just give a quick explanation for what it does. Okay, so... My practical application for this is in mob farms where you're sorting a lot of items but then you have some non-stackable items that you want to grab uh, and you do want everything to still get destroyed at some point. Uh, most of the time I see the design where it just spits everything out into a burn pile, into a lava cauldron and you don't have a chance to grab something. So maybe your filter breaks and you don't want to lose everything. You can set up a system like this where it will hold items, uh, hold a certain amount of items for a certain amount of time, after which it will empty out this chest and uh, you'll have uh, all those items not backing up anymore. Uh, so just as a demonstration, so you can see no items are getting dumped until we match what's here. And then this goes through and starts dumping the items into this cauldron of lava. You can see that they're going out. And this just gives you some time to grab items just in case. And this will keep dumping until the chest is completely empty, uh, which you'll be able to see here. As soon as the chest is empty, the system resets. Right, so you can see that that is exactly what happened here. So just to go into the explanation of the redstone, this is just a simple uh, clock that makes the uh, dropper spit out items if there's anything in it. Um, there's plenty of YouTube videos on this. I forget who created this. I think I got it from Silent Whisperer. Uh, but this is the design that uh, I came up with. So you would have your items flowing into this chest with a hopper. Uh, so say this is the end of your storage system, right? Everything flows into this. That's how that goes. So what we do is we detect if there are any items in this chest, but we're going to compare it to what we have in this hopper here. So I've reduced the amount of items it takes or the amount of items that need to be in this chest before it dumps. You can customize this as much as you want. This doesn't have to be a hopper. This could be a double chest uh, or a single chest. Uh, but you can customize how many items need to be in that chest before it gets dumped. So what happens then is that as soon as this chest has enough items in it, the signals match or are the same, so this begins to output. It extends this piston, which then powers this piston, pushes it up. The hopper begins to transfer items to the drop uh, dropper, and then because this redstone block is down, it powers this redstone, which powers this redstone torch, which retracts this piston, preventing this from getting locked until this is empty. Uh, so I, we can go into a, a quick redstone tutorial about this. Um, I kind of built it up high off the ground. You can build it down into the ground if you want to. It doesn't really matter and you can use whatever blocks you want. Uh, you'll need, as you can see, about a stack of solid blocks, probably less. And some comparators, redstone torch, Redstone dust, hoppers, dropper, cauldron with lava in it, and repeaters. Okay, so I think where we'll start is the dropping system. So we're going to come over here and we're going to build up by a little bit. We'll say five blocks. Seems about right. And let's go over and grab a chest. So we're going to set our chest here, 
And normally what we would do is we put our hopper, and we can start out this way. We put our hopper here, and then we want to have our dropper looking down, or aiming down, so we're going to just plop it right there. We're going to grab ourselves a cauldron and just plop it right there underneath the, the dropper. We'll get ourselves a bucket of lava, put it in there. So now anything that comes out of the dropper immediately gets burned. There's no delay, there's no pause there, it just gets burned. Okay, from there we can go ahead and make the destroying system, if that's what you want to call it. And basically what you want is a, a three by three, so nine blocks here, a block on either side, it doesn't really matter which side. If you have the block on the left side, then you're going to want to have these blocks here. If you have the block on the right side, you're going to want to place your blocks there. And I'll kind of explain a little bit more on why that is for those who have not uh, done this before. <clears throat> so we're going to put our comparator here. This detects whether there are any items and puts out a signal. Because we want this to completely empty out, we only want it to ever have a signal of one. So what happens is the comparator sends a signal of one. This block is powered and it will only power this redstone dust for one block of power. So it, like if we extended the line here, it wouldn't power this second dot of redstone dust. Okay, from there we're going to take a repeater. Excuse me. So this is going to extend the power of this redstone dust and we're going to run it back into the comparator. So it's going to cause the comparator to turn on and off. And we can see if we put an item, right, the comparator is constantly getting turned on and off as long as there is even one item in here. And you can see that the redstone signal here is a signal strength of 15. So it powers that momentarily and then powers off. As soon as we take it out, it turns off. Now the last thing we got to do is we want to actually make it spit out items. So we're going to draw the redstone signal from here. We use a redstone dust because the only way to get signal with a repeater would be to have it pointing that way. And that sends it off in the wrong direction. So we're going to take this redstone dust here, connect it to a repeater, and this now is going to cause the dropper to fire every time there's an item in here. So now that we've got that system done, what we're going to do is we're going to take our sticky piston. Uh, one more. We are going to have it drop down here. And just for the sake of getting this set up, in the right direction we're going to extend and retract real quick because that is the default state of this hopper. We want it to be not dumping items out of this chest. Okay, so we've got that system set up. From here what we can do is build this system here. So we're going to check items in the chest. So we're going to put a block there and you'll excuse me I haven't built this in a while, um, so I have to go back and compare notes if you get my meaning. So we're going to put our piston, our sticky piston, facing down. And I'm not sure why I built this on glass because it's not it's not necessary for it to be glass. Um, so. Yeah, this doesn't have to be glass. I think at one point uh, I thought that it did need to be glass, but it doesn't need to be. Okay, so from there, on the block next to this, we're going to do our, our setup here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we just want to have that. And you have to have this block you have to have the signal strength transferred through the block, otherwise it's you don't have a way to cut off this comparison, and that'll mess things up. 
Okay, so we got that there. And theoretically, if you wanted to, you could have it have this here. As long as the block gets pushed out of the way so that this comparator can no longer detect what's in here, doesn't really matter. So you could have it push up, you can have it pull down. Uh, the, sick, the wiring down here will be a little bit different. I found that having it pushed down worked best for me. Or having it pull down worked best for me. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay. So now that we've got that, we're going to put a block to the side so that this all matches up and works. So you're just going to build a little ledge here to put your redstone torch on. This redstone torch will power the block above it. It will power the block beside it. Uh, if we put a block here, you can see that's powered also. So we just want to power this block, and because it's connected to the piston, it'll power it. When this torch goes out, it retracts that block. Okay. Now for the last little bit, right? We've got this little three stair step down and then a little triforce of blocks here. So we just need to replicate that on this side. So block down, redstone dust, and you can see that when this piston extends, it lights that, which turns that off, which retracts this. Okay, then next our triforce. Okay. And there we go. The system is complete. You can see that when we power this piston, I'm not going to put any items in the chest right now, but when we power this piston, that goes up and this comes down. And that is the entire build. And hopefully you guys will find it useful. I've found it useful myself. Uh, my, for whatever reason, my uh, storage system doesn't always filter items correctly. Some things get missed. I'm not entirely sure why. Probably lag. Uh, but this will help to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, the only recommendation I have is don't fill up every slot uh, because then it requires that every single spot here is full before it'll dump. And sometimes you end up with a situation where you only have a partial stack of items in here and all of the slots are full. Um, so just leave yourself some breathing room and you should be good to go. All right. Well, thank you and uh, I'll have another Redstone video at some point, I'm sure. Uh, see ya.